Many of us love vintage style and love to incorporate elements of old-fashioned living into our modern lives. And I think we can learn a lot from our grandmothers and our great-grandmothers about what they did to look and feel more beautiful. So today we're going to explore what women in generations past did to look and feel good and maybe a couple of things with a modern twist as well. The first thing is rosehip oil. Now rosehip oil has been used since ancient times and it has so many benefits and all skin types can use it. It helps to regenerate and heal your skin since it has vitamins A, B, C, and E in it. And it also improves your skin elasticity and stimulates collagen production as an anti-aging component. And it helps calm and soothe skin. So this can be a good choice for you if you have rosacea or any kind of mild eczema. Ultimately, it's a wonderfully emollient moisturizer, perfect for creating healthy skin. I'll put a link in the description. I'm not affiliated with the company at all. It's just a product that I really like using. One thing my 85 year old mother would always tell me is to drink water. Staying well hydrated is so important for overall health because drinking enough water helps us with our circulation, our digestion, and it helps flush out toxins. So drinking water helps us from the inside out and our skin will function at its best if we're hydrated well. And there's so many wonderful benefits of drinking water for our skin because our complexion improves, puffiness is reduced, our skin becomes clearer and fresher looking, and I notice a big change in my skin when I drink enough water in a day, so aim for six to eight glasses to stay hydrated. Another thing that was important to our grandmothers and our great-grandmothers was styled hair. Now, it doesn't have to be anything complicated or anything fancy. Maybe you like to just wear it swept up and in a pretty clip, or you like to have it styled short, just as long as it's something that's neat and tidy and it's a style that suits you, just go ahead and do that. And a few of you have asked me how I style my hair, so I'll show you how I do it. Now, some of you have been asking me how I style my hair, and I'm more than happy to share how I do that. So I guess we'll start with how it's cut. And I just have a layered cut. So the shortest layers here at the crown are about four and a half to five inches long. And then the rest of the hair is just layered out after that. And then I just add a few curls around the crown, the sides, a few in the back. And then after it's curled and I brush it out, I just gather up a piece on the sides like this and I just wind it around my index finger and turn it into like a little victory roll. And then I just grab a bobby pin and pin it into place. And then I do the same on the other side. I just grab a piece on the side like so, and I wind it around my index finger into that little victory roll. Grab another bobby pin and pin it into place. And then I just kind of fuss with the bangs a little bit, make a little curl, and that's it. That's all there is to it, super easy. Another vintage beauty secret for glowing skin is exfoliation. And you don't need to spend a lot of money on fancy exfoliants. You can use something that you probably have sitting in your pantry right now, and that's cornmeal. So all you do is just wet your skin, put a little bit of cornmeal in your hand, add a few drops of either sweet almond oil or grapeseed oil or even olive oil if you like, and just scrub your face for about 20 to 30 seconds. And when you're doing it, make sure you're taking it all the way down into your decollete area because you don't want that nice skin to stop at your chin. You want it to go all the way down so everything looks the same and cohesive. And the benefits of exfoliation are many. It helps increase blood flow to your face. It takes away all of the dead skin cells so that it allows all of those nice moisturizers and nice skincare products that you're 
using to actually penetrate and do the job they're supposed to do. And it just gives you a beautiful glow to your skin. So if you're doing that twice a week and you're just starting out, you will see a nice change in your skin after a couple of weeks. Our hands also do so much work and it's good to give them some attention too. And you can use this same treatment to soften hands with a bit of cornmeal and a few drops of oil. Give them a scrub and go over any rough spots and then rinse everything off with water and follow up with your favorite hand cream and massage it in. And I guarantee that your hands will feel like a million bucks. The next thing is adding dimension to the face with the use of highlighters. Now, actresses like Marilyn Monroe and other old world Hollywood starlets understood this concept because what they would do is use products like Vaseline and add it to the tops of the cheekbones to catch the light and add a little bit of glow and shimmer to the face. Now, of course, cosmetics have come a long way since those days and we have some wonderful products on the market now that can help us achieve that look. And one of the ones that I like to use is this Lisa Wattier Illuminating Primer. And you can mix this with your foundation. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand and swirl it around. And what it does is it will just catch the light and give you a little bit of, not shimmer, I would say more like a gleam. So I just take a little bit and just add it to the high points of the cheeks like so, and then down the center of the nose and it just catches the light and just gives the skin a nice glow. In the 1950s, cold cream was a big part of skincare routines, and this one has been around since 1905. It's an old-fashioned item, but I love it since it takes off makeup so well, and it's gentle on my skin, and it won't dry it out. I hope you liked these vintage beauty tips. Stay well, everyone, and we'll catch you in the next one.